Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many PostgreSQL users might have. Our viewer is curious about how to retrieve and set a custom version for their PostgreSQL database, similar to the way they could with SQLite using the Pragma user version command. They mentioned trying the select version command, but that only returns the literal version of PostgreSQL, not a user-defined version. Let's explore this intriguing question together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. To check the version of your PostgreSQL database, you can use the command select version. However, this command returns the PostgreSQL server version, not a custom version you can set. Unlike SQLite, PostgreSQL does not have a built-in feature to set a custom version number for the database. However, you can use comments to document your database version. To add a comment to your database, you can execute the comment command. This allows you to store metadata about your database, including a version number. You can retrieve this comment later using the pgcatalog.pgdescription table, which stores comments for various database objects. In summary, while PostgreSQL does not support a direct equivalent to SQLite's user version, you can effectively manage your database versioning through comments. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get your PostgreSQL database version, you can set a custom configuration parameter. Use the command to set the version and then select it. Remember, this parameter is local to your current session. To set a default for all sessions, add it to the postgreSQL.conf file. Alternatively, you can set a default value for a specific database using the alter database command. For more details, check the PostgreSQL documentation on setting parameters and customizing options. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.